What is up y'all's Cheeseburger TWR is back for another Cheeseburger review round 70 fight. Welcome back. Merry Christmas. We are doing this on December 25th so I'm glad to see you all here. Hopefully you've had a great Christmas or you will make the best of what's left. Uh, I'm really happy to be here and happy to be doing this. Uh, as you can see, uh, I don't know if I can call this a visit from an SGV, but Santrev Claus is actually in the building, in the house here, doubling as Cheeseburger TWR. Would you call that an SGV? Special guest villain? Are you going to go ahead and say that for me down below? But uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got the uh, got the Santa hat here. Uh, what way do you like the, the pom-pom, if you will? Right, left, forward, backward? Whatever. But uh, yes, I feel like the 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 white part here is like way too high. It's almost like a chef's hat. And is this is actually how high it's supposed to be because it's actually sewn in or like sewn to the top part of the hat. If you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But uh, as you can see, no bald spot today. Uh, it does look like a nice big Russian babushka. But yes, uh, we do have a you know nice red hat. Uh, it's almost gnomish. Uh, if you will, but I've got another little uh, Christmas surprise for you. I do love the whole um, ugly Christmas sweater trend. It is on December 16th every year, I believe. I wore this the last day I was at work, which was Wednesday, so I've enjoyed a nice four days off. I get tomorrow off too, so uh, we're just going to enjoy this in the meantime, and we might milk this a little bit, but uh, definitely in the meantime... Uh, go ahead and take a look at that beauty. Uh, as Mike Tyson would say, Merry Christmas. So yeah, we've got that. Uh, hopefully you didn't see my big stomach because uh, if I look a little fat and puffy today, I've eaten way too well for the last like week and a half and especially uh, went to my parents today and yesterday had some Dearborn spiral ham, honey glazed ham, uh, some good fresh Polish kielbasa. Uh, baked beans with bacon and sautéed onion, and then my mom made mashed potatoes, aka pierogi guts, what she calls them. So she whipped up some potatoes, threw some Velveeta cheese in there, uh, sautéed onions, just absolutely terrific. Uh, made a nice homemade chocolate cake with homemade frosting too. No box, no nothing. So uh, my mom doesn't watch these, but mom, I would like to say great job on dinner. I know I said it a million times, but uh, you did fantastic, and uh, thank you for making Christmas uh, so great this year, you and Dad. Uh, it was great seeing Grandma as well. Um, again, don't want to miss anything with this one, so might be carrying this on a little bit, but yes, if you do see uh, me to be a little fat and jolly and what have you, uh, again, center of claws in the building. Um, I do also want to thank my brother and his uh, wife, and uh, their daughter and my brother's two uh, uh, boys as well. Uh, thank you for this review. Uh, they went ahead and got me a DoorDash gift card for today. Uh, well, not specifically for today, but it was my Christmas gift. So I am going ahead and uh, doing a review as a result of this. So thank you. He told me to do my thing. I don't want to out all kinds of names, but KTR... I'm sure that's some good parade rest there, but uh, God bless you and thank you for all that you've done. And uh, I've been surrounded by uh, such great people all my life. And this hat is really freaking hot, but it's Christmas. So uh, yeah, I guess as we go ahead and get on here, uh, another little shout out, my buddy Brendan. Uh, I'm in a uh, text message with my buddy Brendan and Joe Pasta uh, from the previous review or a uh, couple reviews ago you remember ghost pepper whopper it was awesome fantastic um so he sends me this youtube link i just went ahead and clicked on it and like i just sat there and listened to it and it was it was a song by clarence carter from 1968 called backdoor santa <laughs> and you can only imagine this this episode this review may as well not be number 70 but maybe number 69 b but yeah i mean i guess if you get a chance go ahead and listen to it i might link it below i don't know but i just i enjoy all the humor and like nothing is off limits to me um with that said 
I uh, did go ahead and DoorDash from uh, Dave and Buster's today. Uh, they apparently had just opened recently, so like I'm not trying to hold anybody up. I gave uh, a pretty good tip, I think, and uh, especially with it being Christmas and all. The weather hasn't been the greatest here either. It's been in the single digits. It's like 17 right now, too, so... Uh, excuse me, pregame belts, but... Yeah, so went to or ordered from... Dave and Buster's and got the Jaguda JC Penny bag, and uh, they were glorious and gracious enough to uh, customize this for me. Merry Christmas, cheeseburger TWR. Hell yeah, we love it. Merry Christmas to y'all too. Happy holidays, uh, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, whatever you guys celebrate. Uh, I hope you've made the best of it, and I hope. Uh, you've had a great time with family and friends and everything. And that's really what the holidays are uh, most important about. And uh, most important for? About? I don't know. But yes. And uh, also remembering the loved ones that are no longer here. And certainly give them their due. And, uh, you know, say hi to them. And hopefully, um, you know, that goes through and everything. Um, yeah. So, again, just one last thing. Maybe there might be more, but one last thing before I go ahead and review the Beast Mode Bacon Burger from Dave & Buster's. Where is Marshawn Lynch at? Oh, damn. He's not here, actually. So, yeah. Tease. T-W-R. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. My buddies and I, we used to go to Dave & Buster's pretty much every Friday. My buddies, Jason and Sean... Uh, we would go there Friday night and pretty much just spend the spend the evening there. A bunch of great times in the early 2000s, like 02, 03, 04. Uh, I'm not old. I'm not almost 40 or anything. But, yeah, we used to have a good time. Uh, we did used to go watch basketball there, too. And it was on Martin Luther King Day in either 2002 or 2003. We went to watch the, uh, the Pistons-Pacers game. A uh, great game, by the way. I don't remember who won or whatever. Uh, I should have looked it up before I got on here, but I didn't. A surprise, I didn't. But yeah, so anyway, um, we got lunch, and I probably got a cheeseburger. Whenever we would go there, I would get like a cheeseburger every single time. I think it was the double cheeseburger or, burger or whatever, and yeah, I would get that all the time. I was pretty pleased with it. I would say my palate 20 years ago wasn't as good as it is now, but... Uh, it sufficed, and uh, I've always liked uh, a good handheld cheeseburger. Anyway, uh, we had lunch this uh, particular day, and I was really, I had a thing for the waitress, and uh, you can only imagine how well this went. So, you know, the waitress, and I'm like con concocting in my head that I'm going to get this waitress's number, right? Of course. Uh, and I didn't tell my buddies this or whatever, so they had to just sit there and cringe until it was all over. So uh, the waitress finally brought our... Um, our bills back at the end and of course like after I don't it was probably before I paid it but like when she gave us our bills I pointed at it and I was like is that your number on there and she's like no and I said can I have your number and she's like I have a boyfriend so <laughs> go ahead and make an ass of yourself and put people on the spot when they don't deserve it and they're just trying to earn an honest living and you're trying to get laid over here so uh, <laughs> one of those, one of those moments where you kind of look back and it's like, why did you do that? You know, I guess just trying to sow my oats and seeds and whatever, but yeah, uh, if that waitress happens to watch us, I don't even remember what her name was, but, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> uh, I hope you had a great day that day because, uh, eternal grimace cringe face over here, so... But, uh, yeah, and um, I think my game has approved, has improved, so it's almost been about 20 years from then. I would say my game with women has improved about, I don't know, that much in like 19 years, 18, 19, 20 years. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm single. Surprise again, but yes, cheeseburger reviews almost 10 minutes in. Uh, again, this is my show, special Santrev Claus edition. Um, yeah, and uh, so I got fries. There's like a basket of fries that was just in the big JC Penny bag, just sitting out in the open. So the fries were kind of cold. Uh, again, I did get the Beast Mode Bacon Burger, 
And uh, yes, yeah, so I will go ahead and open it up and uh, stop the suspense here. But just to go through the parts list here, Blue Moon Barbecue Pork. Let's try that again. Blue Moon Barbecue Braised Pork Belly, Applewood Smoked Bacon, Sharp White Cheddar Cheese, Bacon Jam, Lettuce, and Roasted Tomato Aioli. So... I'm hoping uh, this is a really good burger. Like I said, I'm pretty stuffed and I am sweating up a storm with this hat and the sweatshirt and everything. And uh, I'm about to be speechless as well. So we'll just, oh my God in heaven, happy birthday. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and take a look here. Uh, looks like we've got some mayo on the top bun here mayo and it looks like somebody blew their nose on there i'm guessing that's that roasted tomato aioli maybe you just need a little more mix but yeah so we've got some mayo on there and then this glorious thing maybe we'll just try to get this for a nice thumbnail here because it, it looks really good this cheese is really greasy and moist and uh, all those good things that you like to hear on christmas night uh, the bun is really kind of hard and uh, not very fresh. Like this is like, it feels like it's been uh, like grilled or what have you. And it just hasn't. So that would be an interesting chew. But yeah, so we've unbunned it here. Uh, we've got this nice pork belly. Like this is really, like it's really soft and tender right here. Uh, a little bit more charred and you've got like more of the meatier part over here. Not to be confused with meteor and what have you. So we've got the pork belly and then we've got just the regular applewood smoked bacon on there. You can see that beautiful, look at all that cheddar cheese on there. It looks like a frozen water fountain in Michigan in January or late December even when it's four degrees outside. But yeah, so we've got that and then got the big beautiful beef patty right there and some lettuce. Uh, do we have anything on the, oh, it looks like, oh. There's like a whole bunch of bacos or something there on the bottom, and it just looks very good, very fantastic. And hopefully none of this hits the deck before it hits uh, Tubby's mouth, aka me. So um, I probably will not finish this tonight, but uh, yeah, 12 and a half minutes in. Uh, we're about to get after this here. Maybe again, try to get a nice thumbnail. Uh, again, I feel like I look fatter with this uh, hat on. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, so, yeah, here we are. Two chomps to you. Alonzi, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I hope it has been fantastic for all of you. And uh, we are just going to dive right in here. Ooh. All right. Cheers, Alonzi. Merry Christmas. All I can and want to say on this is mmm bacon. Look at this nice hunk of cheese here. I'm going to devour this. Mmm. Good sharp white cheddar there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take one more bite here and then give it a score. Get a little bit of that pork belly by itself. Pork belly finger. That's what she said. Mmm. You know, I lied. One more bite. Mmm. Mm. Just so much bacony goodness with this one, uh, with the applewood smoked bacon on there, and then the pork belly. You just get uh, just it's 
keeps bringing it together. It's just like bacon, 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 bacon. And all those bacos on the bottom and the lettuce uh, kind of lost out to all the meat here. Uh, surprise, surprise. But uh, the cheese is very good. Nice, salty, uh, cheesy bite. Um, I wasn't as put off by the bun as I thought it would be. It is kind of tough and, um, you know, um, stale. But uh, I guess I'm not going to hold it against it. Um, hmm, it's Christmas, so what are we going to go ahead and give this? I will... You know what? I, I think the only detractor on this is, like, I wish there was more sauce. I wish there was a little more sauce to kind of bring and tie everything together. Again, you get a lot of salt and smokiness and savoriness from that bacon. Uh, the beef patty is good, and it's a nice um, medium, as I had uh, asked for. And, excuse me, post-game belch. Um... You know what? It's Christmas. I'm going to be generous. San Trev Claus, once again, I'm uh, going to give this a top five. Five out of five. Very good burger. Uh, I thought about it, giving it a top ten, but um, everything is great about it. I wish there was more of the roasted tomato aioli on there to kind of, again, bring everything together. It's very, it's very one note, but when that one note is bacon, I mean, how can you go wrong? And how can you sit and lament bacon being the one note? But... Uh, with that said, uh, if you did go ahead and like this content, give me that big thumbs up. And uh, you know how we do, especially um, on Christmas and what have you. I'm sorry, this hat is hot AF. Thus, as I wipe the sweat from my brow, give me your best hacksaw, Jim Duggan. Oh! Smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Comment below. Uh, did you like watching me for 17 or 18 minutes? Uh, have you ever had burgers at Dave & Buster's? Do you have a horrible uh, shooting your shot story about uh, asking a man or woman out? I mean, however it went. Um, yeah, still single. But yeah, so I mean, if you want to talk about anything, it's Christmas. Uh, I want to talk. And uh, yeah, so certainly watch the Tampa Bay and Arizona game. Uh, jingle the bell for notifications as well, uh, so you will all see. So you will see all of this great content going forward. Hopefully, you think it's great content. But uh, yeah, with that said, uh, top five again, five out of five. Uh, this was uh, about as good as I was hoping. Again, this is going in the fridge for the evening, and it will be um, my breakfast and lunch, and maybe dinner tomorrow. But for the time being, I will finally let you go. Stop holding you hostage. Santrev Claus has left the building. This is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Be memorable or be forgotten. Love you all. Merry Christmas. Take care. Bye-bye.